Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I, I must admit that I have found this hearing to be stunning uh, in that that uh, it, it seems, Mr. Secretary, that uh, you're proud of the progress being made by the administration, that, uh, that uh, things are going well at the border. And, and I look at this chart that was prepared uh, by Senator Johnson, and, and I see an extraordinary crisis. I mean, do you recognize this as a, an alarming crisis? Uh, Senator, uh, I look at immigration uh, as a challenge that has been persistent for many, many uh, of years. Of course, but, uh, but, but we were running along here, and now we're seeing, uh, we're seeing apprehensions at the border that have skyrocketed. And, and, and just as alarming, perhaps even more so, is the chart that came from, from Senator Portman, which is unaccompanied children uh, who are being led into the country, an explosion. In the, not, I mean, is this not a massive uh, failure that, that would suggest that the administration needs to take immediate action to remedy what's, what we're seeing here? Uh, Senator, we have taken immediate action with respect to the unaccompanied children, and we've is, made Is the number coming down? And, we are, we are addressing that challenge with increasing efficiency every single well, day. In increasing efficiency to get them moved to other parts of the country and with families and out of these crowded facilities. I understand that. I'm delighted that we're not having kids sleeping on floors and, 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 and in cages. That totally, but the number coming into our country and being released into our country is at a, at a skyrocketed level, as is this. The, the question is, do you have plans to do something dramatically different such that those numbers come down to an acceptable level? Because you can imagine this overwhelms our Border Patrol agents. I mean, if they've got numbers like this they're dealing with, this means that the, the drug cartels can be smuggling through uh, drugs because our folks are taking care of kids, they're taking care of people coming in illegally. Do we have plans to dramatically address what's happening here? Uh, two points, if I may, Senator, um, uh, both of which are extremely important. The laws of our country provide um, certain procedures and certain rights for children who arrive unaccompanied and have claims of asylum, who claim fear of persecution by reason of their membership I, in a particular I, I, social group. I understand that. So we that. have an obligation. But, 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 they were, but, but we were turning those, those kids away under Title 42, and the new administration came in and said, we won't turn them away, we'll let them come in. And I presume as a result of that, the numbers went through the roof. Um, Senator, we are addressing the numbers consistent with the law. Well, under but the do you want to victim. propose a new law? I mean, we have a crisis both for children. I mean, you, you talk about the humanitarian concerns of kids that come here, and, and I, I understand we've addressed These are that. Children. But you're addressing that. They're children. Think of them coming here all the way from Honduras. Think of the trial of going across the, the entire country of Mexico to get here. And, and, and then being, uh, not being able to come into the country. Yeah, let's put this up. Senator. I mean, this, is, this is a crisis for children. The fact, the fact that, these, that these kids are coming here making that kind of journey, and, and they're not going to be, uh, be allowed to stay in this country. Senator, uh, Senator, if I may, we're the United States of America. 90% of these children have a parent or legal guardian in the United States, and they have a claim uh, of fear of persecution. So this is not a problem then. If I, your if view I, is your view is that this is the way it's going to be. If if I may, if I may, Senator, they have a claim under the law for humanitarian relief, either um, their claim of asylum or their claim for special immigrant juvenile status. Yeah. And we can, in fact, meet the challenge. Yeah. The what, what I find astonishing, astonishing, Mr. Chairman is that we have the secretary responsible for securing our border and our immigration system who doesn't recognize these charts as being a problem. And there are human beings behind these numbers. And it is not saying, hey, we've got to make some changes immediately. I, oh. I, find, that, I find that extraordinary and, and extremely damning. No, 